Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And today we're gonna brew up some Chaga tea. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut this into chunks. Man, that's hard to cut. Maybe it'll be easier if I flip it over. Wow, that's just like cutting through wood. Let's try a grater. Well, the loose black stuff is coming off. Still really hard to do. Well, if I try to brew that, I'll have to filter it out with a coffee filter. I think I'll just put the whole chunk right into the pot. Just like that. Now pour some water on there. Turn on the heat. We'll let that boil for a while until the water becomes the color of tea. Okay, well now it's boiling hard. It's only been boiling for about a minute or two, but you can already see that the water is getting dark. So I'm gonna boil it for a little bit longer, take it off the heat, so and let it cool so that I can drink it. Okay, so that's been sitting there cooling for a little bit. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at how dark the water is there. It's almost a dark red. So now I'll try to pour it into my cup without spilling it. I really should have used a pot with a spout. So far so good. I'm starting to spill it now. Okay, let's try pouring this again. There we go. Now, let's see what this tastes like. Well, even though it's brewed quite dark, isn't a whole lot of flavor to it. Maybe a little, a little bit of a nutty flavor. It was quite pleasant. I didn't put any sugar or anything like that in it, but um, you know, with herbal teas, you really don't have to. good. Now one of the guys I subscribe to, his name is Jeff Spate, and he's from Montreal. And he's really big into recycling. And what he does with this chaga is he'll dry it out again after he uses it, and then he'll use it again for another batch of tea. Then he'll dry it out once more, and then he'll use it for tinder. Well as you saw, I used the whole chunk of chaga to make my tea. It was really difficult to try to cut it and to try to grate it. So I'm not going to be bringing a grater or anything like that into the bush with me. So if I wanted to 
have a cup of chaga tea in the woods, I would just take it off the tree and then brew it up right away. So thanks for joining me today. This is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more information on the health benefits of chaga, visit www.chagaknowledge.com or www.chagatea.org.